Without shipping protection, the purchase process for our consumer is fairly standard. You buy something online and you think to yourself, especially if it's the first time that you're interacting with a brand, you always have that slight kind of nervousness there of, is this going to arrive in good quality? Even more so, I think, if you're buying something from a, a well-known retailer. There's a couple of reasons for that. One might be if the brand doesn't have a strong presence, so maybe it's actually hesitation towards your brand. The other might be that typically people have come to expect Amazon-like delivery services and they're very conscious of shopping on individual brands' websites because they don't think they're going to receive that. But ultimately, if there's no shipping protection there from a consumer experience at the purchase step, there's no major change. Where there is a change or where there is an issue is if something goes wrong because as a consumer, if you get a package that's damaged or has been stolen off your porch or just doesn't turn up, in a lot of cases, you have to rifle about on the brand's website to try and find how to contact them. You have to get in touch with customer support. You have to prove your case. And really, then it becomes up to the brand about what they do. They might say, hey, nothing to do with us. We ship the package. It's your responsibility. To be fair, most brands wouldn't do that because that's a terrible customer experience. Just as equally, they might not be able to reship the product. If they reship it, they might take a while to do so. They might offer you a store credit instead or just say, hey, we'll cancel your order and refund it to you. Now, in all of those cases, that's not necessarily an ideal outcome for the end consumer because at the end of the day, they wanted to purchase your product. So having shipping protection allows them to continue that journey.